Can cell phones really cause cancer? It's been a question that's dodged researchers for years. Now, but a group of experts are now saying the results of some tests are pretty surprising. Here is consumer editor Susan Copen. Millions, maybe billions of us constantly call, text, click, take pictures, and play on our cell phones. Even the top cellular radiation researchers from around the world have a hard time untethering. But they gathered recently in North Carolina to talk about cell phone concerns and whether they really do increase our chances of developing cancer. The panel voted that the results from years of testing on mice and rats were more significant than originally thought. They say they found clear evidence that phone radiation caused tumors in the hearts of rats, similar to tumors in people. In humans, it's seen in the vestibular nerve in the ear, the acoustic nerve. Um, we found it in the heart, although our uh, animals were exposed in their whole body condition. While a given animal is not making a cell phone call, they are, throughout their short two-year lifetime, getting the same exposure that we would expect people to get in their 70-plus years of life. Activists are now calling for more protection, citing separate studies from France and Italy. Many brain tumor lawsuits going on right now that are waiting for a study like this to prove that people's brain cell phone radiation. And there are new concerns on the horizon. 5G is about to debut a stronger system of broadband. Some activists say the government has a responsibility to increase regulations. And I think it's also the responsibility of the ones making up the phones to make them as safe as possible. And I'm sure they can do better than what we actually have. Susan Copen, KDKA TV News. Both activists and researchers agree that people can minimize any risk by holding the phones away from the body when in use and not putting them in your pocket.